Shalom. Giving all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rakakwadash. And uh, double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone that told us his truth. Much peace and blessing and salutations to the elect that are scattered throughout the four corners of the earth. Shalom. Uh, peace and blessings to your house. Okay. Just going to roll through the spirit with this one. And, um, <clears throat> you know, go speak on some events that uh, happened these past two days. With the Bank of America customers woke up to missing funds from their accounts. Okay, now the title of this video is going to be all road lead. All all this leads to one thing. Okay, when I say these things, I'm gonna bring up a couple of articles that I have because it's it's these people there. Uh, when I say these people, these people that that sit behind the scenes, the rulers, the elites that you don't see on TV. Okay, and, and 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 that 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 we all speak about, they're making a move on their agenda, and it's no coincidences. All right, it's not a coincidence. Bank of America customers allegedly woke up to missing funds from their accounts. Now these are people that that woke up to uh, a, a they call it a outage, and these are many people that woke up to find missing money. In their accounts. Okay. Now check this out. Usain Bolt alleges, alleges nearly all of his 12 million in private investment account wiped after a serious act of fraud. Okay. So all these things are now all this is happening while these people are in Davos. Okay. So. All roads leads to one thing, Revelation 13 and 16. A system of, of a reset. The system has to reset. And we've been warning about this. Blowing the trumpet. We do these videos because we are watchmen unto the house of Israel. All right? The Lord said, I have made thee a watchman unto the house of Israel. Therefore, hear the word at my mouth and give them warning from me. So we're giving you a warning. From the Most High and His Son. In the flesh. Yes, we're mortal men. The Lord has raised us up to, to warn our people. The system is, uh, the Lord said He would do nothing but He revealed His secrets unto a service the prophets. Esau, Edom, the so called white people, are the left hand of the Heavenly Father. They're His evil side. They all work for the Most High. And we're telling you that the system is about to be reset. They told you the great reset. What, is, what do you think that means? The economic system is going to be reset. The financial system is going to be. Re it's about to re. They about to redo it. The way you do things are about to change. The way you pay. The way you get paid. The way you do things. That's why they got carbon footprint thing. Uh, they're talking about your carbon footprint being tracked. That's why they're talking about merging man with machine. And here we got it. I, I made a video three days ago. Where I told you soon we're not going to be able to speak about these things and warn the people. Davos elites warns that disinformation is an existence. Existing no threat to their influence. <laughs> All right. They're talking about what what people are saying. Speaking up against them is a threat to their influence because they need to have the mind, the influence over the minds of the people in order to fulfill their plan. If they have people like us preaching and teaching them and telling them. They're, they're no, these people are evil. No, then that's going to take away some influence from them. So what do they have to do? They have to shut us down. And ultimately, it's going to be of the Lord, of course. But that what we're talking about is not going to be open. We're not going to be openly 
be able to uh, talk about these things soon. Because the average person, and I'm going to say the average person that knows that they're an Israelite, they don't know about these things. They're having uh, barbecues and, 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 and where, you know, marching down, what, what, whatever these Israelites are doing. Here, uh, you know, at Great Millstone, we, we're, 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 we're watching and brothers that are in the right spirit. We're warning our people. You know. We are like uh, blowing the trumpet, blowing ye the trumpet in Zion. Here we go. CNN. Politics. The U.S. will likely reach its debt limit on Thursday. What comes next is predictable. The, a, debt, a debt ceiling is the maximum amount of money the Treasury is authorized to borrow to pay its bills. And they've reached, they're reaching a the limit. So they're just going to have to keep raising and raising and raising and raising and raising it. Until what? The reset. And what is that reset going to include? It is going to include Revelation 13 and 16, what we've been talking about. That is about to happen. These, all this leads to what we're, what, 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 what we've been preaching about. All this links to the Bible. Uh, let me get a, 1 Corinthians 14 and 8. For of the trumpet given uncertain sound, who shall prepare himself for the battle? So we're, if you got if you got Israelites that are claiming to be leaders and pr prophets and teachers blowing an uncertain sound, then the people are not going to be able to get ready for battle. So we're blowing the correct sound. Okay, and we're sounding the war sound. The, we're blowing the trumpet for war because these people... At, at, in Davos are waging war against humanity. Okay, so while you people come up against us and, and talk about what we got going on and we're hateful in this, these people are getting ready to set up a dystopian world. These people are getting ready to set up a, a, ter a, a, ter a tyranny world full of tyrants and they're going to rule over you with an iron fist and you're, they're trying to make you into a robot. Why are you, you talking about love, 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 love? These people don't love you. These people do not love you. They're talking about inserting things inside of you to see what, what's going on in your brain and in your body. They want to enslave you, man. Talking about eating beetles and, and you would eat Z-bugs and be happy. You will own nothing to be happy. And none of you people are coming up against the, the, the WEF. All this information that we bring out, and we did it with the jab. All this information we keep bringing out constantly to put uh, our people up on game, to teach them. The this man is your devil. The he's the devil that the Bible speaks of. Don't trust him. Don't believe in him. We're blowing the correct sound, and just the same thing. What happens with the yap? What happened with the yap? And people took it. Is the same thing gonna happen with Revelation the thirteen and sixteen? You people going to take it. And guess what? You're going to get the judgment written in Revelation 14, verse 9, while other people are saying it's, it's sin. Keep playing games. Keep playing. Hey, keep playing. Isaiah 56 and 10. His watchmen are blind. What did I say earlier? We are watchmen. That's why we bring out information to our people to warn them from the impending doom that's coming. From the, 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 the judgments that's coming to try and save your soul. That's what the scriptures goes into fleeing ye out of the midst of Babylon and deliver every man his soul. That goes into your mind, fleeing out of the ways and, and the philosophies and the doctrines of this world. Because if you follow him, you're going to follow his image. And if you follow this so called white man, you're going to follow him unto death. All right. His watchmen are blind. They are all ignorant. They all are, are all dumb dogs. They cannot bark. 
If you got a dog that ain't barking, telling you that the enemy's coming, he's useless. They cannot bark, sleeping, lying down, loving to slumber. These people, men that, that said to their watchmen until the house of Israel, which are the Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, they're not speaking on these things. While these devils are in Davos, we're supposed to be exposing them. The right hand versus the left, evil versus good, man. This is a war, man. And when this thing all goes down, and which it will, all right, we're going to see who, who was right and who was wrong. Very soon. We're going to see who Yahweh and his son was with and who he wasn't with very soon. We're going to see. It's going to be made manifest. Okay. All right. That's why you got. Uh, let me let me get to this. Uh, uh, second to sixteen and forty. Oh, my people, hear my word. Hear my word from who? The prophets, man. The true prophets, and you got to discern that for yourself. Hear my word. Make you ready to thy battle. Esau is about to come down with great wrath on us, man. And the woman was wroth, okay? I mean, Salakia. And the dragon was wroth with the woman and went to make war with the remnant of her seed. Okay? It says, make you ready to thy battle. And in those evils, what evils? The evils that are, the things that are, the events that are leading up to the evils right now. When the economy crashes. When the, the, the system is reset, all people, all hell's going to break loose. A man shall go in, into a, a, another city and not be able to lockdowns and, 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 and uh, uh, famines, not being able to afford food. The hell that's coming to this earth, man. Jacob's trouble. The events that, that are leading to the evils are happening right now. And we're insiders and we're telling our people blowing the trumpet. Okay, it says, and in those evil be even as pilgrims on the earth. It's going to come a point in time where life is going to change. Okay, especially if you are of the uh, uh, hopeful elect, you're not going to bow down to this man's image. And to this man's system that he's gotten to set up because it's ungodly. It goes dead set against what the most high and his son is, is about. They, they talking about a merging man with machine. We're not down with that. We're not down with that. We're not down with, with, with what these, these people in Davos got going on. No. We're going to say no, Lord willing. No, we don't want to pay with our hand. No. <laughs> okay? And we're going to be hated for that. <sighs> See? They call that disinformation. The Bible will soon be misinformation, disinformation. The most high's ways. Because all we're doing is reading out of the Bible and telling you no. God, no, God said no. And, and, and that's misinformation. No, we have to have influence over the people. You see, this man is the devil, man. For us saying no, we, we, we prefer God's way better. That's going to be a, a hate speech and misinformation. This is the man of sin. And I'm going to say it again. Very soon, you won't be, you won't hear from us. You won't hear from us soon. It might be sooner than we think. These devils might get out of this meeting and go crazy. You know, it's all in the lost time. Okay, but we're warning the prophets and you watchmen out there that are claiming your watchmen, they a lot of people ain't barking. You know, you talking about going to the Barclay Center and whatever the hell else you're doing. Rapping, whatever. Hey, man, everybody in their lot. Okay, so sooner or later, the, the, we ain't going to be able to reprove, rebuke. It's going to be what it's going to be. Okay, all the warnings done, done went out. Okay. But uh, I think I hit the point. Low willing was edifying and uh, shalom.